Welcome back to Wildlife Wednesday. Today, and for the next few weeks, we're going to be talking about animal tracks. Now, observing and identifying animal tracks is a skill that takes a lot of practice. But together, we'll learn the basics so that you can get out on some animal tracking adventures and find some cool Montana animals, maybe even a moose. The first thing you're going to want to familiarize yourself with is not individual tracks, but the trails that animals leave behind. Looking for patterns rather than individual tracks can be really helpful, especially when conditions aren't ideal and the details of individual tracks are hard to make out. There are four main gait patterns to look for. First, we have our waddlers. So these are animals with large bodies compared to their shorter legs. So animals like bears, porcupines, raccoons, and badgers. A waddler lifts both feet on the same side of its body before moving the feet on the other side of its body, which makes the animal sway or waddle from side to side as it walks. Usually their front and back feet look different and their trail will show a front foot landing next to an opposite back foot. Next up we have our bounders. So this includes most weasels like river otters, ermines, and fisher. Bounders have long bodies and short legs. They move like an accordion or a slinky, crouching and jumping off from hind feet. They stretch in the air and land on their front feet. Then both front feet lift up, allowing the back feet to take their place. This will usually look like a pattern of hind tracks placed right behind front tracks. Next up, we have our perfect walkers or striders. This includes all our cats, dogs, and hooved animals. These animals lift up their opposite front and back leg at the same time, sort of like how a baby crawls. This usually leaves a straight line of single tracks. Some perfect walkers, especially felines and red foxes, are great at what is called direct registration. This is where they pick up their front foot and their back foot goes in the exact same place. This is great for sneaking up on prey because they can make sure they set their front paw down silently and can just put their back paw in the exact same spot. Last but not least, we have our hoppers. This group includes rabbits, hares, squirrels, and most rodents. Hoppers bound forward with both front feet at the same time, then bring their large back feet around in front of their front feet. This leaves a trail of paired hind feet track in front of paired front feet track. Next time, we'll talk about some more clues and measurements that you can use to narrow it down from a group of animals to an individual species. In the meantime, grab your field guide, head out and find some snow or mud, and start looking for waddlers, bounders, walkers, and hoppers.